The Elimination Chamber, as always, is one of the main attractions for WWE and the road to WrestleMania. The event has become synonymous with the build-up to WWE's biggest show of the year, and this year is no different. The event is set to be one of great importance with Roman Reigns' title reign in danger ahead of WrestleMania as Sami Zayn faces him in one of the biggest matches of his career in front of a home crowd in Montreal. With that, this is Wrestling Up, and in this video, we will take a look at everything that happened at the WWE Elimination Chamber. Before we get into the rest of the video, make sure you subscribe to Wrestling Hub and turn on all notifications to stay up to date with everything in the world of pro wrestling. Also, don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Wrestling Hub Official and follow us on Twitter at Wrestling underscore Hub. Natalya and Liv Morgan started off the match and she has the advantage almost immediately. The two were at loggerheads with the Montreal crowd firmly on Natalya's side as they cheered for her to send Morgan into the chamber pods repeatedly. Raquel came in next and started to punish Natalya. Raquel was fighting against a double team of Morgan and Natalya with them sending her into the chains. Nikki Cross came in next and her wild energy saw her get the advantage in the match soon enough. She was dominating proceedings soon enough, punishing Natalya and Liv Morgan before assaulting Raquel against the chains and the chamber pods as well. Carmella came out next after Nikki and Raquel had knocked each other out. She then went to attack and pin the others. It was not enough. When she saw Cross approaching her, she locked herself in the pod. Raquel picked up Nikki Cross and broke the pod open, but Carmella ran to another empty pod and locked herself in there. Raquel pinned Nikki Cross after the big blow and eliminated her. Liv Morgan hit Raquel with the code red, but she kicked out and the battle continued. Carmella came out of her pod to attack Raquel and almost got the pin, but Rodriguez kicked out. Asuka came out and attacked Carmella pressed her face through the chains. Asuka slid in and hit a kick across the face of Carmella. Natalia put Liv in the sharpshooter. She almost tapped out, but Asuka also came in and applied an armbar. She lost consciousness and was eliminated. Carmella then attacked Natalia from behind, eliminating the hometown favorite out of nowhere. Asuka and Carmella both went after Rodriguez next and took her out with their finishers, leaving them as the last two standing. Asuka took out Carmella in the end with the new submission move, making her tap out. That was all she needed to win the match. Asuka wins the women's elimination chamber. Lesnar and Lashley were in next in the rubber match where both stars have had single wins over each other. Lesnar drove Lashley into the corner and hit him with a suplex out of there. He then continued the punishment in the opposite corner before driving the Almighty out of the ring. Lashley fought back and knocked Lesnar down with two spears. He then tried the hurt lock, but Brock blocked it and hit the F5 on him. The immediate cover, but Lashley got the shoulder up. The match is not waiting around for anyone with both stars getting near wins already. Lesnar hit another F5 on Lashley, but he kicked out again, so he went for another. Lashley got out and hit a spear and immediately put him in the hurt lock. Lesnar was red in the face trying to break the lock and kicked Lashley with a low blow. The official has no choice. Lashley won via DQ. Bobby Lashley wins via DQ. Lesnar was not having it and picked up the referee to hit him with the F5. He dragged Lashley outside the ring and then hit him with the F5 through the table. Lesnar was not done and then hit the referee Chad Patton with the F5 on the broken table. Rhea Ripley, Dominic, and Finn Balor were out next for the match against Edge and Beth Phoenix. Balor and Edge go edited in the beginning, with Edge taking it out on Balor in the corner of the ring. Rhea came in after tagging Balor, and Beth came in as well. The two went at it in a collar and elbow tie-up as the match continued. The clotheslines by both didn't work. They hit each other with multiple clotheslines as the match continued with neither gaining the advantage. Phoenix gained the advantage and continued to punish Ripley. Ripley went to the outside where Dominic tried to shield her, but it didn't work. Phoenix beat her down. Balor got taken out as well, but Dominic Dominic used the distraction to take out Phoenix. Edge chased Dominic out of the stadium and took out Balor with the clothesline. Ripley took back control of the match and hung her upside down in the tree of woe with the multiple stomps. Dominic came back to the ringside area. Balor took out Edge on the outside while Ripley continued with the advantage. Judgment Day had the advantage ever since his first interference. Beth took the advantage back, hitting Ripley with the huge superplex inside the ring as the star twisted in pain. Edge and Balor tagged in and the match changed with Edge getting the heat. He put Finn in a modified sharpshooter but was broken out of it. 
it. Dominic caused the distraction and forced Edge to break the hold. Dominic slipped the brass knuckles to Rhea, who hit Edge with it. Rhea put Finn on Edge for the cover, but Edge kicked out. It was a botch. The referee actually counted 2-3, but they pretended that didn't happen. Ripley hit Edge with the powerbomb, and Phoenix hit Balor with it. Beth sent Rhea into the steps face first, and then the glam slam. Edge hit the execution on Finn, and then the suicide dive on Dominic. Edge hit the shatter machine finally after the spear on Balor, and got the win. Edge and Beth Phoenix defeat the Judgment Day. The men's elimination chamber was next to Seth Rollins and Johnny Gargano kicked off the night. Rollins was being serenaded by the very happy WWE audience while Gargano and he mixed it up to kick off the match. The two of them put up a good showing, but they were soon joined by the United States champion himself with Austin Theory coming in. He attacked his two former mentors, taking the assault to them. Theory found himself in an issue as his previous assaults affected him badly. Rollins and Gargano teamed up to assault him and took him out. He begged Gargano to team with him, but Gargano refused and attacked him. He tried to lock himself in a pod to get away from Gargano, but the other side was unlocked and let in Seth. Gargano and Seth beat down Theory in the middle of the pod. Damian Priest was in next, and he took the match to everyone in there, punishing everyone he came across. However, the next entrant changed the complexion of the match with Bronson Reed coming in. He hit Rollins and Gargano with a double move. He hit them and then put them on his shoulder before hitting them with the followaway drop from his shoulder on them both. Reed then hit Priest with a massive splash against the chamber pod. Reed was dominating from the moment he came in and even hit the flying shoulder tackle to Theory. Montez came in next and took out Theory. He hit the suck it signature and went for the people's elbow but was stopped by Reed. Theory went to lift him but failed. Reed went after Ford but he climbed the chamber. He went directly to the roof and was hanging down from there before dropping on everyone in the ring with a splash. All the competitors were down. Super kick to Reed and then Rollins hit Reed with a stomp and then Ford hit him with a splash. Reed was eliminated. Rollins and Gargano were on top of a pod as they took out Priest. They nodded to each other while sitting on top with both tired. Then Rollins went at Gargano. He banged Gargano against the plexiglass again and again on top of the pod. Rollins went to powerbomb Gargano off the pod, but the star turned it into a Hurricane Rana onto the stars below. Gargano avoided Priest and then hit a DDT on the floor of the chamber to Theory. Priest looked at Gargano next and hit him with the razor's edge, eliminating him. Priest went to hit Ford with the chokeslam from the pod, but Seth went for the powerbomb and Ford turned it into a blockbuster, eliminating him. Ford took out Theory, but Seth hit him with the stomp. Theory took advantage and pinned Ford. Seth Rollins and Theory were the last two remaining. Montez Ford looked hurt and needed help to be taken away. Logan Paul came into the ring in that gap and hit Rollins with a buckshot lariat. Theory then hit Rollins with the A-Town down to get the win. Austin Theory retained his U.S. Championship. Roman entered the ring first for once and Sammy came in next in front of the rabid Montreal crowd. The match kicked off with Roman taking the early advantage in the matchup of power. While Roman seemed to dominate at first, Sammy sent him outside and rained down rights in the corner on him. He hit him with an elbow. Reigns took back control and hit him with the drive-by. Roman beat Sammy down in front of his family and continued to punish him. Sammy leapfrogged Reigns in the ring and hit him with a clothesline. Zayn knocked Roman out over the top rope and sent him retreating as the match continued. Roman hit Zayn with the uppercut on the top rope. He then dragged Sammy on over for the superplex. Zayn reversed it and hit a delayed sunset flip powerbomb for a near fall. Zayn went for the blue thunder bomb, but it was blocked by Roman. Zayn stayed in it as Reigns hit him with a Uranagi, but he kicked out. Zayn hit Roman with the sudden exploder suplex in the corner. He went for the haluva kick, but Reigns hit him with the superman punch. Zayn hit another exploder in the corner, getting another near fall. Zayn hit the superman punch to Reigns, and then the haluva kick, but Reigns kicked out. Zayn got caught in the ropes, and Reigns hit the uppercut. Reigns went for the spear outside, but he went through the barricade instead. Zayn took him inside and hit the blue thunder bomb for the near fall. Reigns pushed Zayn into the corner and the official. Zayn hit the Aluva kick, but the official was down. If the pin was counted, Zayn would have won. Jimmy Uso came out and hit multiple super kicks to Zayn as well as the Uso splash. He carried Reigns on top of Sammy, but Sammy kicked out. Sammy and Reigns kneeled and teed off on each other. Reigns went for the Superman punch, but Zayn ducked out of the way. Jimmy tried to interfere, but got the Haluva kick. Reigns back in with the spear, but Sammy kicked out. Roman mocked Sammy and tried to bring him up, but Zayn slapped him across the face. 
Reigns hit the referee with the Superman punch accidentally. Reigns and Sammy hit each other with Superman punches, taking each other out. Heyman handed Reigns a steel chair. Jay Uso came into the ring and stood there. Reigns handed Jay the steel chair and asked him to beat down Sammy. Jay hesitated, not hitting Zayn. But there was a moment where it looked like he will hit Reigns instead. Reigns took the chair out of his hand and slapped him. Reigns moved out of the way and Zayn accidentally hit Jay. Reigns used the chair to beat down Zayn and lined him up for the spear. He hit the spear and that was it. The referee came in and counted. Roman Reigns defeated Sammy Zayn to retain the championship. After the match, Jimmy tried to beat up Zayn, but Kevin Owens came out and started the beatdown. He took out Jimmy, putting him through the table with the power bomb and hitting the stunner. He hit the stunner on Reigns as well before taking a chair in. Paul Heyman came in and tried to attack Owens. Kevin hit him with the stunner. Zayn hit Reigns with the Huluva kick. And that was your Elimination Chamber report. I hope you're all having a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later.